What's up you guys and welcome to fitness day three. Our focus today will be on our core. As always, we have five exercises. We're gonna do them for one minute and it's gonna be two rounds, totaling 10 minutes. There will be absolutely no breaks. So, if I have to repeat myself with this, if you have not hydrated, if you have not stretched, Pause the video, go do so, and come back because we don't take breaks. I only got you for 10 minutes. I can't take any breaks. And you know how this goes. I got my timer. I got you. Let's get started. All right, we're going to drop down to a bare plank. Make sure you're not arched. Make sure your body is in a straight line. Move your back to straight. seconds. If you want to add something, go side to side. Just make sure your core is nice and engaged. 30 seconds. seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. So you can touch the ground with your arm, your hand. Your legs should go straight back. We're going to do 30 seconds on each leg. And if you want more stability or you want variation, you can switch arms as you go down. Core, tight. Your body should feel like it's in a straight line. We're going to switch on 30. Switch. seconds. We're switching on 30. Switch. Our next exercise we're going to do is going to be a crunch. So I need you to mentally prepare yourself to get down to the ground. Don't take too much time. 10 seconds. We're going to start our crunches. In five, four, three, two, one. Straight leg. Hands behind the head. Crunch. We're going to do bit, bitten legs on 30. 45 seconds. In 
making sure your core is nice and tight. 30 seconds, bend your legs. Make sure your back is flat to the ground. If you want to add some variety, you can crunch from side to side. 15 seconds. And we're going to end back up in our bear plank. All right. In five, four, three, two, one. Bear plank. We're going to hold that for a minute. Make sure your back is straight. No arching. Hold yourself up. See, it wasn't too bad. You guys know the drill now. 45 seconds. Make sure your core is engaged and you're holding it in, feeling that contraction as you come down. You want to add some variety. You can go side to side. 40 seconds. After this, if you're thinking about it, we're doing our toe touches. Forty-five seconds, twenty-five seconds. I'm sorry. I'm gonna add time to you guys. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. Our toe touches. In five, four, three, two, one. Don't spend too much time down there. Once you find your balance, hold it. Use your upper body for stability. Make sure that core is engaged. If you need extra support, <clears throat> tap that back leg down instead of lifting it off the ground. We're switching on 30. Switch. crunches and we're going to hit them strong, okay? 10 seconds. Crunch. Four, three, two, one. Down to your crunch. We're doing straight leg. Hands behind the, back, the head. Do not push your neck up. Allow your abs to do the work for you. Remember, as I said, we're switching on 30. We're going to do bent knees, 
you want to add some variation to any of these, you go side by side. Switch it. Twenty seconds. I'll finish it strong. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. You guys, that wasn't that bad. Let me stop the timer wasn't that bad what you need to remember when you're doing any core any ab exercise is to seriously engage your core keep it nice and tight feel each contraction a lot of people just and they don't like you have to know which muscles that you're working so start with keeping your core tight as always as always i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe to the channel Follow me on my Instagrams and come back for day four. Day four, um, we're gonna do, oh yeah, I'll tell you tomorrow when you come back. I'm not gonna give you a heads up. Um, I hope that you guys are enjoying this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day four of fitness. See you guys then.